Sometimes you hire an actor and when they show up to set, they are looking older than they said they were. Or resolutely, you hire an actor and you want them to look younger for the role that they're going to play. Now, you can do face swapping and de-aging and all this um, complicated CGI, but there are also a couple of really interesting tricks within DaVinci Resolve that let you radically change the person's appearance and their appearance of their age with really just the touch of a button. So today we're going to check out aging and de-aging in DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I'm going to start a new timeline. I'm going to drag my clip into here. You can see that the guy looks up. We're just going to concentrate on this last, this last couple of seconds. Uh, so we're going to trim that off with the uh, Q key and then head over to our grade. Uh, the first thing we want to do if we go over to our waveform is bring this up into something a little bit more usable. So we're going to pull our gain up until the sky is white. We're going to pull our lift down until things are pretty much dark. And then might be too much. Um, so that's our first grade or our first node. So now we'll go across to... Um, Maybe play a little with the color balance. Looks like it's a little purple to my eye. So I'm going to pull the tint down and it looks a little cool. So warm it up just a fraction. So that'll be our correction node. Now I'll hit option S on the Mac to add a second node. And this is where we're going to do our face refinement. So to define face refinement, we're going to go into open effects over here hit F-A-C-E, and then turn my nodes back on, drag that into my node number two. I'll hit Analyze, and it'll put these little uh, tracking markers over the face. It'll track forward and backwards. And you don't have to show the overlay, but it is good to open this skin mask thing and see that the, uh, just check the skin mask is tracking the person's face through the whole shot. And we can turn that off. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this to make the person younger, the guy younger, and this, I'm going to add another node to make him older, and you'll see the difference between them. Now, face refinement is only available right now in the studio version of Resolve, which is the one you either pay for or you get for free when you buy the uh, Blackmagic Pocket Camera or Ursa or uh, one of the Blackmagic um, cameras or, or uh, accessories. So if you can't find it, that's the reason why you've got the free copy. So in Beauty Automatic, I'm going to pump up both of these and straight away, look, all these wrinkles start disappearing. I'll go in, I'll push in here so I can go into say 200% and then use my touchpad to uh, go up to his face. And you see straight away, right, that that auto amount of the Beauty Automatic is just smoothing out all those lines. Then I can play with the scale to, to make just a little bit more natural. So I'm going to go with 1.5 on the amount and uh, 0.6 on the scale. So close that. Then I'm going to decrease the contrast a little bit on the color grading tab. I'm going to uh, maybe brighten his face up just a fraction. The midtone is absolutely brutal. Like, you know, it'll turn you into a <laughs> Marcel Marceau very quickly. Then I can do some shine removal if he has that problem. But the main place you're going to get um, a result is with this a little bit of an eye light and the eye bag removal. You see, as I push this up, that those eye bags just totally disappear. You well, lip retouching is not going to be any good because he's got a mustache. Um, forehead retouching, you can use that and add some smoothing. Um, and then you can click this on and off to see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So that's like a 68 year old and that's a 40 year old. Um, if you've gone over the top, which actually I like to do, then you can just pull back the global blend, which, which um, basically fades down the entire node. So I'm going to just fade it in by about, you know, 0.2. Then up here in my node, I can hit um, control D or Apple D just to get rid of all my refinements. So you see, yeah, again, you're going from a 60-year-old to a 40-year-old. So just those wrinkles, all that space is really adding uh, a lot. And we can play the clip through. It really doesn't look like too much. It really, um, it really helps a lot. What I also might do in this same node is go down and 
sharp on the whole clip so pull my radius down um, radius blur radius down to 0.47 and then i'll also um, reduce the mid-tone detail so that that fudge fudges the entire clip so i can turn this off and i'll hit um, option s to make a second node we'll put rate face refinement on this one as well and analyze again analyzing forward analyzing backwards so now we're going to turn off our overlay again and we're going to um, pretty much do the, the same thing but in reverse. I'm going to pull down my beauty um, automatic and see straight away he's adding, adding five or ten years. Um, you can mess around with the scale here. Something like 0.2 is going to be pretty, pretty horrible. <laughs> um, then I'm going to go into my color grading. Um, I might, uh, I don't think I'll touch this actually, except adding some contrast is going to make him look really haggard. Uh, in the eye retouching, I don't want to remove the eye bags and I can't negative, negative eye bag uh, remove. So I can just sort of leave them as they are. If I want to make his eyes even more sunk, I can. And uh just like i did in the first one i will add some sharpening but then i will add mid to a detail and make him look even more haggard so oh my god <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty intense um so we're going from a so that's our old man that's our young man again close again here's our youngification here's our old man oh he looks he looks like he's about to die. So I feel like we've got a 60 year old, maybe 65 year old. Here we have conceivably someone in their forties and here we have conceivably someone in their eighties. So just with a couple of um, face refinements, uh, you get, you know, I can play And then the great thing about this is I can play it through. So let's turn on this and play it through. And it may look a little too much in the still, but it actually looks great in a playthrough. And the same with the uh, the old man version. Oh man, <laughs> it looks like he's about to drop dead. <laughs> so that is how I do my um, de-aging and aging in Resolve. Well, if you put them both on together, it looks kind of like Keith Richards. It looks like an older guy who's had too much Botox. That was how to change the appearance of your actor to make them look younger and older uh, with the face tracker in DaVinci Resolve. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.